What's up everybody? It's Tony aka The Grill Outdoorsman and today I want to talk about making use of some home items in case you run out of candles or you need a fire starting device. So here in Florida we are coming up on what's known as hurricane season. Um, I guess officially June 1 is the start of hurricane season so we're right around the corner where today is uh, the 29th. So we're at the end of May, and uh, I've been through several hurricanes. I've lived in Florida since 1997. Um, you know, been fortunate. I've had some trees fall down and this and that and the other, but nothing too crazy. A lot of power outages, a lot of extended period power outages, two, three, four, five days a week, two weeks, etc. So if you find yourself at home with no candles and you need a candle, um here's a couple of tips number one the easiest one and the fastest one is you know and be careful with all this of course it's fire so this is shoe polish so this happens to be kiwi brand kiwi is the polish that i use and if you don't have a candle and it's pitch black in the house you can at least temporarily give yourself some light by lighting a shoe polish on fire. Now it will drip. Okay, I had a little trouble there, but I got it going. And as you can see, that baby is on fire and it will give you some good light. Be careful, you can hurt yourself. If it drips on you, it does hurt. It's happened to me. <sighs> Blows out pretty easy, okay? But in a pinch, you could use your shoe polish as a light source. Now, you can see I had a little bit of trouble getting it started. That's kind of normal, So, but it does work. Next, you can get a cotton ball. And these are great for just everyday fire starters as well. You can get a uh, cotton ball and some petroleum jelly. It can be any brand. It could be Vaseline any type of petroleum jelly get it in there really get it saturated with petroleum and you can light this on fire this takes a second to get going too but once it gets going i've timed it i had one last for about eight minutes and uh, you see i've got it on a, a paper plate with um aluminum on it now this one is actually the 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 best option in my brain because it will last so long and it's more of a controlled burn where the shoe polish you can see it really gets going but you don't really have to do anything you just light the shoe polish this love it I actually uh, keep some of these in my um, go bags my hiking gear this this will get a fire started um, very easily and it lasts a really long time all right actually my favorite Another thing you can do um, is you can get a toilet paper roll, fill it up with um, dryer lint. Dryer lint is an excellent source of tinder, and catch this on fire. Now this, be very careful because it will burn and make a bigger fire. So what I'm going to do with that is actually utilize this metal bowl that I've got here. But in a pinch, you can make a bunch of these. I'm just gonna light this. You can see it lights very easily. And you have, a, you know, a little candle-like item. Now, once this gets going though, it could really catch on fire and have a little fireball in your hand. So have something metal that you can go ahead and put it in once, you know, it really gets going. So, all right, those are just a few ways uh, and there's plenty more that I could teach you, but th those are three really fast and easy ways. You can see my cotton ball is still going. Um, this is going to, but it's not quite the flame you've got over here. Um, these are just three easy ways that you could make fire in a pinch to use as a light source, or you could use any of these three items to help get a fire going outside. I hope this is helpful. I hope you have a safe uh, hurricane season and you don't go through, through nothing too tough.